have a new hat. <laughs> hey guys, you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. I swear I'm not always good at this goofy. Today, I'm going to be talking about what it's like to be sectioned. So, so those of you who don't know, section is under the mental health act. You can have section 2, section 3, section 136, section 135. There are different parts under the mental health act in which you can be detained in hospital against your will. The mental health act is there for people who refuse to go into hospital voluntarily to keep people safe, to treat them, to assess people, and a bunch of other stuff. But what's it actually like being sectioned? So I was in hospital for a year in 2022 to 2000, uh, 2021 to 2022. May till May. And I moved in here. But I was sectioned under section 2 of the mental health act, then I got put on a section 3. And I want to talk to you about that experience. So when I was detained under section 2, I was in general hospital for two weeks because they couldn't find a bed for me because it had to be a private ward because my GP was based in London but I was living in Brighton. No, I actually moved to Brighton two years ago. Now I'm back in London. I only lived in Brighton for six days before getting a section. So I was at a and AAU two weeks. The security guards were amazing. Yes, I had security guards with me on two to one and I had a uh, healthcare assistant on one to one because I kept trying to leave and I nearly succeeded in leaving but security guards are stronger than me. So she went and tried to carry my bag, my laptop in without breaking my laptop and trying to push these security guards off me. I didn't win that fight. But being sexual takes away your rights as a human being. I spent a lot of the um, two weeks in general being restrained because I wanted to leave. And I appealed my section and that didn't go through. I don't know anyone who's ever won a tribunal. If you've won a tribunal in the past, let me know in the comments because I generally don't know how people manage to. I had a solicitor and everything, but it just feels so isolating. You're taken away from everything you know. You're locked in a ward. I was lucky when my family came down to see me. It's an environment that it's not a great feeling. When you get to old Lydia, you'll be detained under section two of the mental health act. It's such a hard thing to process. In that moment, your rights get taken away. I've never felt good after being sectioned, but I was, uh, what, what do you expect? Being sectioned is scary. I made a video a long time ago about what happened, what being sectioned is really like. I'll link that up there. If I being sectioned is easily one of the hardest things to understand. I remember feeling so isolated and depressed because of it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below and I'll do you a part two where I answer the questions. Any questions at all, you can ask me anything, whether it's about me personally or just generally or about the mental health hack. Anything. Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.